Well hey there folks and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here and uh, today we're not doing a beer review, well not right now, might sneak some in later, um, but we're doing a beer haul video. Uh, now if you have just found us here on YouTube, if my mug's just popped up while you've been looking around, I know I say this at the beginning of all videos, but give us a thumbs up, give us a like, share and subscribe to this channel, it's the Hop House. We like hoppy beer, we like good house music. Uh, so a beer haul video, I think we've only done maybe one or so beforehand. Um, because the majority of stuff I get is usually from supermarkets um, but I've gone ahead and uh, I got a bit of a deal online um, from Seven Brothers Brewing so uh, it came today I only ordered it Sunday night and it's come today we're on a Tuesday today so thank you very much for Seven Brothers great turnaround on your delivery um, so Seven Brothers Brewing I've only done I've only had a couple of their beers to be fair I've only done one on the channel uh, the one I did on the channel was the, I think it was called the Cast Off Pale Ale um, and it was made from leftover, the malt was made from leftover Rice Krispies. Uh, they have a couple of beers like that that are leftover um, cereal boxes and it's a good way of sort of recycling I suppose. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I thought, oh, I'll give it a try. The reason, the main reason I ordered is actually this kind of a cool t-shirt in here and a nice little pint glass and then I ordered some of their core beers alongside that. So this is the Seven Brothers box. It's come, as you can see, in a Seven Brothers Brewing Company box. Let's go ahead and get it opened up and see what we've got inside. Well, I know what's inside, but you don't. So inside we've got another box. Got it's like the Amazon man when they come. And you end up with like 25 boxes for something that's usually half the size of the original box. Right then, so I've got a load of cans in there. Um, I should have a pint glass and I should have a t-shirt. Right, let's have a look at the cans first of all. So this is in no particular order. Um, first up we have this one from Seven Brothers Brewing and it is their Pineapple Pale in a 440ml can. That is a 5% ABV jobby. Uh, some great can artwork there. Um, so that is the Pineapple Pale. We also have this is um, similar to the, in fact, where's the cast off one that we did before? I'll show you that. No, it's not there. It's not there either. Oh, ah, there's more underneath. Right, I'll, I'll just go through them one on one because I'm waffling here. So we've got the throwaway IPA. So as I said, the cast off pale ale that we did was made from uh, throwaway Rice Krispies. This is the other one that is made from cornflakes. So this throwaway IPA, the malt bill on it is from um, sort of recycled cornflakes. I think how they do it is, um, you know how supermarkets you sell like wonky veg and things, so you get like straight bananas and stuff like that. I think these are cast offs for maybe cornflakes that come out in a big ball or something, you know, that are not the right size to go in the boxes. So instead of throwing them away, they pass it on to the brewery to, uh, to brew the beer with. So yeah, 5% throwaway IPA, that is from leftover what's it's. Another one that caught my attention, I thought I'd give this a whirl. This is the Sling It Out Stout. Again, the can wrap is very similar. 5.5%. Have a guess what this is. That is throwaway Cocoa Pops. A stout made from throwaway Cocoa Pops. Cocoa Pop recycled Cocoa Pop bits that didn't make it into the cereal. So that's Sling It Out Stout. That's uh, another 440. Uh, I think next we've got all 330s. So. Starting off with this one, it is Seven Brothers Good Day IPA, um, supporting the Tim Bacon Foundation. So uh, when we get around to reviewing these, I'll read the cans properly, but that's a 4.7 percenter. That's a little Diddy 330ml can. We have this one, which is, oh, I'm looking forward to this one, Sabro IPA. That's one of their new core beers, uh, 5%. Uh, Sabro hop is it's quite a new hop, actually, but everyone seems to be using it. Uh, I've only had it in one or two beers myself. It's still quite new to me, um, but it's quite coconutty um, and it makes it taste like you're on the beach in the Caribbean, something like that. So looking forward to the Sabro IPA. I'm not sure if that's single hopped. I'm not going to read anything more on the can. Uh, we then have the Hoppy Pale. The Hoppy Pale, uh, that is 3.8%. So that must be their sort of session strength beer. Um, and that's in a Diddy 330ml can as well. And we also have the Easy IPA. That is another one of their core beers, 4.7% uh, IPA on the Easy IPA Seven Brothers. That's in the top half of the box. And then 
got something halfway down. Oh no, that might be it actually. Stand by. I've got another box here that I've got to open up. Packed in separate boxes. Oh, this might just be my t shirt and my pint glass. Oh, there you go, then that's my t shirt and my pint glass. I thought I'd ordered another can of something, but I obviously didn't. I thought I'd ordered another can of that Rice Krispies beer, but it doesn't look like I did. Which is fine, I've already reviewed it on the channel. Um, and I've got the other ones that go with it, so I'll just chuck them down there out of the way. So I ordered this. This is my Seven Brothers t shirt. I really like this t shirt, I thought it looked kind of funky. It's an oversized t shirt, so it's meant to be baggy and things. It's a bit like the one I'm wearing now. So that is my Seven Brothers t shirt. So seven on the front. And then seven brothers, seven brothers, seven brothers on the back. That's quite doody, like that. So that's my t-shirt. And then I did want to get the stemmed pint glass, but unfortunately they're out of stock, so I had to get the stemmed half pint glass, which would be nice for the 330ml cans. Um, but I always like a new bit of glassware. And they've wrapped it quite well so it doesn't get damaged. Look at that, eh? Oh, how cute's that? There you go. Seven brothers, and it's got a seven on the other side. So, hey presto. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cans um, to go through. They'll, they'll get reviewed on the channel over the next couple of weeks. That uh, pint, that half pint glass will also be in use. Um, and the t-shirt will be worn. Seven Brothers t-shirt. So a big shout out to Seven Brothers Brewery, Brewing Company. I will um, tag you in the comments and I might even stick it on your Facebook page as well. Um, and that's kind of it for this beer haul video. Right, I'll pack all that away in a minute off camera. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, share and subscribe. And we uh, can do some more beer reviews shortly uh, here on the Hop House. Ciao for now, people.